Hi Kindergarten, it's Mrs. Merritt, and today we're going to do Module 3, Lesson 18. Now yesterday we talked about enough and not enough, but today our objective switches a little bit. And our objective is I will compare using more than and the same as. So our important vocabulary words today are going to be more than and the same as. To start off our lesson, we're going to do finger number pairs. And you've gotten really good at when I give you a number showing me on your fingers. So we're going to do the same thing. But I want you to encourage you to use two hands to show some of the numbers, okay? I'm going to pop a balloon. You're going to show me the number on one hand, and then we'll split it into two hands, okay? Five. Very good. So, look what I can do. An easy way to do this is this. I can take down two fingers here, and I can put up two fingers here. Do I still have five? One, two, three, four, five. I sure do. Now, did I have to take down just two fingers? No, I could have taken down more and put them on this other hand. That's how you're going to separate your numbers onto two hands. First, you're going to show me on one hand, though, okay? That number wasn't available on one hand, right? What number is this? Eight. Very good. Can you think of a different way to show me eight? One finger down here. That would work, right? I put one finger down on this hand and put one finger up on here. This hand, do I still have eight? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. What number? Six. How can I show this differently? There's a bunch of ways. I'm going to put down two fingers on this hand. So what do I need to do with this hand? Put up two fingers. Good job. Two. I'm going to put down one finger and put up one finger. Do I still have two? Three. I'm going to put down one finger and I'm going to put up one finger on here. Four. Notice each time I put fingers down on this hand, I'm putting the same number that I just put down upon this hand. Seven. I'm going to put three down here, and that, so I need to put three up here. Great job! That's a little bit tricky to start learning, to start switching to show the numbers different ways, but you guys did an awesome job with that. Now, question. The way I did it, was that the only way to do it? No, absolutely not. I could have put down two fingers, and you, maybe only you put down one. That's still okay. Showing me a different way, right? So we're going to start right off with our application problem um, this morning, and we are going to read the question and follow along with some pictures, okay? Show me four little mice. So I have these mice over here. I need your help counting. One, two, three. Four. So I have these four little mice. Now, I want to give them each a piece of cheese. Put the cheese underneath them to stay organized, my picture. Two. Now, it says you can draw a line, which is a great idea, but look at this picture. This picture is pretty organized. Do we even need to really draw a line? No, we don't. Look at it. I see mouse and a piece of cheese. 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 Are there enough pieces of cheese? Yes, there are enough pieces of cheese for each mouse to have one. Now, question. 
How many pieces of cheese are there? If there are four mice, how many pieces of cheese are there? There are four pieces of cheese. Very good. So I have my daughter's toys here because it asked me to pick students to do this. And obviously I don't have you guys here with me today. We are all learning from home. So I have a few different um, dolls we're going to use, I guess you would say, as our students. So I'm going to pick four students. We have Ariel, Olaf, Rapunzel, and then this little baseball player. And I want each of them to come up and drag down a cube. And we're going to see if we have enough cubes, okay? Here comes Olaf. Olaf is going to drag down this first cube. Okay, so Olaf had his turn. And then we're going to have Ariel swim up. She's going to come get this other cube. And she's going to drag it down. Everyone's happy. We're getting a turn to come up to the board. Now we have this princess. I accidentally dragged the um, cube down too quick. The princess has to come up to the board. She got her cube. She's happy. Are there enough cubes? No. He still needs a turn, right? So we would have to find another block so he could have a turn. I have a question about this, though. Are there more students or more blocks? There are more students. We have someone who did not get a turn. So that shows me that there are not enough blocks. And we do not have the same number of blocks as we do students. So we do not have enough. Okay, now let's try again. I'm going to call in two other students here today. Interesting characters in animals or students in our class. So we have a zebra and we have this guy holding, he's holding a basketball. So I'm going to have them come up and drag down a cube. So here he comes. And then the zebra's coming up. What happened this time? There were more what? More blocks. So I didn't have enough students this time. I had more blocks than I had students. So, let me take another student. Here she comes. And she dragged one down. Now do I have the same number of blocks as I do students? Well, let's count the students. One, two, three. And how many blocks are there? One two, three. So at first I had too many blocks and then I called up one more person and then I had enough, just enough, the same number, equal number of three students. So here they are, here are my three students and I want each of them to come up and circle or drag down a block, okay? Here she comes. Here comes Snow White. And then I have Elsa. Oh no, what happened? Are there enough blocks? There are not enough blocks. So we can say there are more students than blocks. So we would have to ha find another block to have the same number of students as we do blocks. Okay? How many more blocks would I need? in order for Elsa to come circle one. One more. 
she is one more person, I would need one more block. Okay, we're gonna try one more time because I really want everyone to make sure everyone has a turn. I'm going to the board. Okay, she's gonna drag down her block. Look at it. Did I have enough blocks? Yes, I had enough blocks. Do I have more students or more blocks? I have more blocks than I do students. One more. Drag down a block. Now, do I have the same number of students as I do blocks? Yes. They each got a turn. I had two students come up to the board, and I had two blocks chosen. Good job. Okay, so for our closing activity today, we are going to sort the red cubes and the blue cubes. So we're going to put the red cubes on one side and the blue cubes on the other side. I want to make sure we can see them all. Now, is this the only way to figure out if we have more red or blue? No, we could what? We could count them and figure out which um, has more. So, are the red and the blue cubes the same number? No, they aren't. Which has more? Are there more red or more blue? There are more blue. I can see just by looking. Look at Blue needed two rows. Red only needed one row. So we do not have enough red. Another way I could do this is put the red over the blue. And I would see very quickly that we have more blue than red. So we still do not have enough red. I would have to get more red. So using our vocab from today, I want you to listen carefully. I have more blue than red. I do not have the same numbers or the same amounts, okay? So I do not have, my red cubes are not the same as the amount of my blue cubes. I have more blue than I do red, okay? We are going to continue working on this through the next few lessons. So do not worry if it's a little bit difficult to understand. That's okay. We're going to keep working on that. For your exit ticket today, what you're going to do is you're going to find, you're going to find if you need more or if you have the same amount. So I would say, my blue, I have more blue cubes than I do red for this problem. You're going to look at some pictures and figure out if you have the same amount. So if your red cubes are the same as the amount of blue cubes, or if you need more of one. And sometimes they may ask you how many more. So you may have to do some counting. Okay. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.